Some of the most impressive features of the EQ Lighting Control Programmer software are the so-called wizards. The wizards allow easy programming for stunning content. In order to access the wizards, simply open up a queue list and click onto the wizard head. Here you can find the chaser wizard for creating chasing effects, the scroller wizard for creating scroll texts, the check it wizard for checking fixtures, the bitmap wizard for creating bitmap animations, the video wizard for replaying video on matrix systems, and the eScript wizard for creating effects like circles and full shows for 12 queue lists. Record stage output allows you to record a combination out of queue lists into a new queue. The record incoming DMX function allows you to record an incoming DMX signal, for example, with a DMX input device like the Excite Plus. For now we would like to use the chaser wizard. But before we can use the chaser wizard, we first have to set two things. First we have to define which kind of fixtures we would like to use. You also have to touch them, which means just clicking on them without changing the values. This can be either done inside the fixture window, or you can also use the preview window by clicking onto the select feature, choosing select rectangle, and then drawing one big rectangle around all fixtures. In the second preparation step for the chaser, I have to tell the programmer what should be the first step of the chaser. I would like to create a moving block from the left to the right. So choose a color and then just draw a rectangle around the first two rows of your matrix. Which means using 2 pixels in width and 40 pixels in height. The matrix in total is 40 by 40 pixels. This is some useful information I will need later on. At this point we are actually ready to start the chaser wizard because we have touched all the fixtures we would like to use and we have created the first step. So now we can open the chaser wizard. Go to the queue list, click onto the wizards, enter the chaser wizard, and all he wants to know is how many steps should be created. In this case, we have a width of 40 pixels, and our block is 2 pixels wide. We would like to have the full block moving, so we can do a maximum of 20 steps. The offset is the actual step size that we would like to be using. So if we would like to move the complete block, this is consisting out of two rows with each 40 pixels, which means 80 pixels. Now you can choose if you would like to set the chaser mode for a normal queue list, which will set one speed and one chase behavior for the complete queue list. After the chaser has been created, it will start automatically. So now we saved a lot of time and efforts as the programmer helped us to program something very repetitive in an easy way. As we have changed the normal queue list into a chaser, we can now also see this BPM fader and a chaser fader inside of the queue list. Simply hold down your left mouse button and move the mouse up and down for changing the speed of the chaser. You can also change the chase behavior for doing a less smooth or more smooth fade from one chase step to another. Please keep in mind that the preview window is not a real-time visualization, it's only running with 15 frames per second, while the DMX output is running with 35 frames per second. 